And now, a first look at the new season of Mama June, Road to Redemption. Me and my family used to be super close. Come on, good. But then it all came crashing down. Mama and Gino got arrested over a year ago on drug charges. She's facing five years. Oh, God. And even with a court date coming up, that didn't stop them from doing drugs, acting like fools, and blowing all of Mama's money. We all hated Gino because Mama picked him and drugs over us. So we had an intervention and bought in Dr. Ish to help. Let's talk. Negative. Let's talk. If Let's you talk. touch me, Let's I talk. swear to God. Her and Gino fled the intervention and completely dropped us from their lives. <laughs> All of this took its toll on the whole family, especially Alana, who had to move in with me and Josh. To make matters worse, Mama started selling all of our stuff. Mama Palmer tied it on our car, so I got repossessed. Your mother's selling everything out of our room, everything out of Ella's room. Oh, my god. She even sold our house. What the? They're gone. Plus, Mama owed some bad people money. Now she's put us in danger. So we had to pack up and move overnight. <laughs> we didn't even tell Mama where we lived. We cut her off completely. Meanwhile, Sugar Bear was having health troubles of his own and his crazy wife, Jennifer, was trying to get custody of Alana. But we won that fight. Me and Josh take better care of her than anybody ever has. Take, take care, care of her. Take care of that bitch. You can't you bitch. I finally gave Mama one last ultimatum to be a part of this family. You have to go to rehab. Then Mama gave us the surprise of our lives by getting sober. But she wouldn't go without Gino. In the past six months, we spent $150,000 on cocaine. Yeah. I'm scared. Don't cry. It's going to be fair. And they went all the way through. I mean, nobody can tell what six months looks like from now. I really hope that this journey shows the kids about what I'm going to do. See ya. Peace out, bitches. But just because she's done 30 days in rehab does not mean she's all better. We can't just forgive and forget overnight. You've let a man come between your kids. She's got to prove to us that she's all better. And that is one long road to redemption. Good, what's next? Getting our kids back and getting our life back together. Can you start picking up your damn mask? Don't be so cranky. I got a hot I see, babe. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm waking it. I'm waking it. I'm waking it. Go <laughs> get your broom and come in here and clean it up. No. Can you sweep up your chips over there by the counter? <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You know, I love being a mom, but with these, like, terrible twos about to be three, I'm about to pull my hair out. I need a break. What do you want? I'm trying to figure out why you're not on your Zoom class, because I'm about getting ready to take your phone. I can explain. OK, I'm not in my Zoom class because I have nothing to do right this second. I'm sure you got some work you need to catch up on. I just moved to a new school not too long ago, and I mean, because of this whole corona thing, I have to do Zoom now. So now I can't even make no friends. It's kind of lonely. This is fashion. You need to start helping me. I'm not your maid. Why are you being so cranky? Are you on your ladyhood? No, Josh is coming home today, and I would like the house to look like we haven't been pig all week. It doesn't look week. bad. It looks terrible. So Josh got a construction job in South Carolina three hours away, and then he comes home on the weekends. And it's really taking a toll with this long distance thing on our marriage. I'm going to cook dinner tonight so that we can all sit down as a family and have a nice family dinner. You mean an arguing fest? No. I know Pumpkin and Josh love each other, but it's like as soon as Josh walks through the door, they start to fussing and hollering. It's kind of like sometimes I'm the only adult in this house. Get out. It's like I have time for that 
Mama keeps trying to contact me ever since she got out of rehab. And I've seen on social media that she's telling everybody that she's sober, but then again, I don't believe her because you're still with Gino, so that probably means still underneath Gino's control. And until she gets that out of the way, then she's not really allowed around me and my family. Oh, you lucky you're cute. Baby! What? You want a smoothie? Hell yeah. Mm. <laughs> Isn't it been me? So good. I'm back! Larger, sweeter than ever. Dude, well, that's not a smoothie, dude. That's a milkshake. Well, why can't we be sober and healthy? I got protein right there in my sprinkles. So much has went on with us. I mean, we are now seven months sober. Can you believe that? Look, we have put on a little couple extra pounds. I put on about 60, he's put on about 100. We put on a whole nother person. But I'm gonna blame it on healthy COVID weight. How much COVID did we eat? <laughs> it's clogged up with sprinkles. Oh, I need more syrup in it. I have to say, sobriety has changed our relationship. Now, we're able to have like a clear mind and spend time with each other and reconnect our relationship and get to re-know each other without the drugs. You want some now? <laughs> You're crazy as hell, dude. I'm kind of digging this sober stuff. You know what I'm digging, babe? You don't need a little sexy body. What do you got in your teeth? Is that them sprinkles? <laughs> <laughs> when I was in the midst of my addiction, I didn't give a what I looked like. I mean, and one thing was is when my front tooth came up missing. Now that I'm sober, I've finally been able to worry about my outward appearance. Don't you think they look good? Let's go enjoy the pool. All right, come on. Let's go enjoy this smoothie. You gonna go swimming? Uh, negative. Maybe later. June's manager, Gina, hooked us up with this house in Florida, right by the beach. We decided to stay here in Florida because it was close to the rehab that we went to, Banyan, with our sober support system. And we're not around the people, places, and things that are our triggers. I mean, staying here has definitely been a fresh start for us. Look, I need to get some sun on my legs. Yeah, I need some sun. I really miss pumpkin and Galan and Tank. They would love it here. Well, it's been over a year, baby. Pumpkin won't even call me back. I mean, think about it. I'm doing everything they wanted me to do. We got sober. We're staying sober. You got to give them time, dude. I mean, we f***ed up pretty bad. I'm tired of giving time. I don't know why the girls honestly won't talk to me after I've done completed rehab. It's like, what did I do all this work for? I just want the family back. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just because we're doing good, we can't expect everybody else to say, oh, never mind everything that happened in the past. Let's overlook that. Are you even listening to me? Dude, don't call them again. Please leave a message in the tone. Hey, Pumpkin, it's just me. I just wanted to let y'all know that we're thinking about y'all. We love y'all, and I wish that you would pick up your phone. Me and Gina, we went to rehab. We're clean. You know what I'm saying? We're doing the right thing. I mean, I really do love and miss y'all. But anyway, bye, bitch. Alana! Is dinner ready? Yeah. No. It's cooking time. What do you mean? No. It is cooking time. I'm hungry. No, you're not. You heard the lady. Here's your apple juice. Look at these noodles, they're green. Veggie noodles? Yeah. Because you need to watch your figure, and so am I trying to watch mine. Can you get me down? Where are you going? Be way up. I mean, look at me. I've lost 40 pounds, and I really am trying to do better. You know, you don't have to brag about your whole 40-pound weight loss. You know, it wouldn't hurt you to eat a few vegetables like I do. Let me just tell you, I have needs. What are and your needs? And my needs are carbs. Carbs. Okay. Oh, they're done. How do you know if that's done if it sticks? Yeah, that's what Mama said. I mean, there's only certain stuff you can believe for Mama and certain stuff can. Mama lives in her own reality, where she has no consequences when it comes to picking Gino and drugs over us every time. But she is our only mom. I just kind of wish you'd just let me see her. I understand that, but also I'm protecting you. 
Whatever you say. <laughs> you need to hurry up. I'm going. Had my husband not been late, maybe he could cook dinner. Has he texted you? No. Have you tried to call him? No, because he should call me. Dang. He should have been home two hours ago. What's going on with you and Josh? Y'all been arguing a lot and stuff. Honey, I'm home. Daddy. About time. Daddy, daddy. Give me a kiss. I've been busting my ass, cleaning this house, making sure dinner was perfect for him when he got here, and he's late. So it's super frustrating because I know he's trying to keep the household afloat, but I'm sinking back home. Why are you in such a pissy mood? So what were you doing at 9 o'clock last night when I texted you and you didn't respond back? Sleeping. No, nobody goes to sleep at no damn 9 o'clock. Yeah, when you work like I do, you go to bed really early, because that's what you got to do. You just don't want to hear me bitch. Right, so why would I answer when that's all you do? Have you been wearing your mask? Yeah, I have to at work. Yeah, but what about when you leave work and when you go hang out with your friends or whoever the you hang out with? I don't go and hang out nowhere. I go home and go to bed. Matter of fact, you know when people stay in other states and now they have to quarantine? Oh, let me show you. You need a little humble about it. Come on. The porch. Yeah. I'm hungry and I'm also thirsty. So... Oh my God. I don't know what Josh is doing while he's away in South Carolina. All I know is that he doesn't talk to me. He doesn't answer my phone calls. He doesn't answer my text messages. And I'm sick of it. I think you might be doing a little bit of overreacting. I don't think so. I think so. Are you hungry? Here. Oh, what, I gotta stay out here all night? Yep. I gotta pee. Piss in the yard. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, thank God. God, please. Honey. Did you really leave him out here all night? Yep. <sighs> Come on inside, Josh. Thank you. Sleep outside, piss outside. Good thing I have the shiitake mushrooms outside. Did you make any coffee? I'm not drinking coffee anymore. You should know that. You would know if you were home, you know. Got to work. That's a problem. I mean, you know, you could get a job elsewhere, not just up in South Carolina. I have to make enough money to be able to pay for this house because your mother is the one that had us run out of her apartment. You're just trying to bring up other excuses not to have an argument. I mean, you don't think I miss Ella, honey, when I go to bed at night? You don't think I miss y'all? No, when I, I don't go to think bed you do because you don't ever answer my damn phone call, never answer text messages. So what's it really, Joshua? I'm the out of here. I'll just go back to South Carolina. Why the f not? This isn't the first time that I've seen Josh storm out the house, but lately, every time he does it, I mean, I feel like it's going to be the last. You're just going to let him leave like that? He can stay his ass up there. Hell, you don't want to come home now as it is anyway. F it. Mama June, Road to Redemption. New season premieres Friday, March 19th, only on WeTV.